So our first question comes from Dave. Dave is a great name. Um, he says this, Dave says this, I train in a commercial gym that has a nice collection of kettlebells. The big ones on the end don't seem to get much use. Um, <clears throat> you know, I've thought for a long time, the original set of kettlebells, Dave, that was the 16, the, the 24 and the 32, the 16, the 24 and the 32 were basically all anybody would ever need. And of course, then they started expanding them. And, uh, and then of course, when the twenties came out, I realized that for most men, the twenties are almost a perfect weight, double twenties. And then the twelves came out and, and then I realized the tens worked out so well for so many of my female clients. And of course, now I have a collection of like you have, I have 32 kettlebells in my garage and, and sprinkled throughout the home because people steal them and don't put them away. Um, but you're right. Once you get past 24, the 32s, the 36s, I have the 48. Not a lot of people use them. So the question is this. I was wondering what someone should do with a 48 uh, kilo kettlebell. It seems like it'd be really cool to dust those off and be able to press it. I agree. Do you have a program that puts someone pressing the 48K? Well, it's interesting because the, the okay, the first time I saw a 48K, this is, this is pat me on the back time, and I understand that. Uh, I picked it up and pressed it without a problem. Well, why? Well, because I have a huge background in uh, the Olympic lifts and barbell training. So the 48K just isn't very much weight uh, if you've put a lot more weight over your head than that. Um, now, having said that, what are the best programs for keeping your press up? Well, there's, there's, there, I always think with pressing, and this is the system I use to press 300 pounds, which is about what, 138 kilos. I did that as an adult right around the turn of the millennium, and I'd never clean and pressed it before. And so I used a very simple program, and the program was this. Uh, one day a week, I did three sets of eight with a minute rest. Yes, that's my transformation program, and yes, it's boring as can be. Three sets of eight in the military press with a minute, exact minute rest. Now, the loads never got very heavy on it because that minute rest uh, was really cutting into everything. Now, why, why do I think that was still a valuable program? Well, there is something important if you want to improve your press. You have to press. You have to press all the time. Same issue most of us have with the squat. To improve our squats, you have to squat a lot. Uh, the way I'm built, to, for me to improve my squats, basically I had to move to squatting movements five days a week, which is not fun. Uh, to improve my press, I don't need as much volume. So day one, three sets of eight in the military press with one minute rest. I think the most I got up to, and if, I, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but for sure it was 135, and it might have been much more than that. The other day of the week, I would clean and press, and I would start with a lighter load. I could have been 95, 115, 135, 155, and I just kept adding low to that weekly uh, clean and press workout. Now, we're talking about kettlebells, but I still think the same points are true here. And what are those points I'm trying to make? Well, the first off, I think you need to do volume hypertrophy with your press to improve your press but I also think you need to go heavy with your press to improve your press. Now, one thing I just said there will stop the planet Earth from rotating because it's pretty, pretty obvious to anyone's ever put weight over the head. Now, I found when I was getting ready for the RKC the first time, I just did the simple rite of passage, which is three days a week, medium, light, heavy, uh, clean and press, left side, one arm, clean and press, right side, one arm, one pull up, two, 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 three, 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 and then you work it up to, they're called rungs and ladders. And the, 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 the workout that let me know I was ready with the 28 kilo bell, I did a total of 75 clean and press with my left arm, 75 clean and press with my right arm, and 75 pull-ups. If you go to the original, enter the kettlebell book, I think it's in there. Uh, the rite of passage is a really good program. For a lot of people, it's just too boring to improve. So let me give you some other ideas. Uh, this is a program we've, we've used with great success here at my gym. So it's going to be three workouts a week, and two are basically good old-fashioned hypertrophy. You can do, no, let's, do, let's make it as simple as we can, okay? Mondays, double kettlebell press. Find a load that you can go two, three, five. 
that's 10 reps. Um, I would like you to go two, three, five, stay with that weight, two, three, five, stay with that weight, two, three, five. And okay, for that workout, I just said three rounds of two, three, five gets you a total of 30 reps. I'd like you to experiment with uh, where you just do two rounds, 20 reps, three rounds, 30 reps, and five rounds, which is 50 reps. I've gone as high as 10 on that workout, but I cheated the workout a little bit by going two, three, five, 10. Uh, basically, if I can press something for five, generally I can get 10 out of it, uh, especially with kettlebells, because that's kind of the way I'm wired. So I did uh, five sets of two, three, five, 10, getting me to 100 reps. I would just like you to go two, three, five, and play around over maybe a three or four week period with the different variations of a total of 20, a total of 30, and a total of 50. And find out which one seems to be the one you can recover easily. Wednesdays are day two or Wednesdays workout in this case. That would be the single volume day. Set of two left hand, set of two right hand, set of two left hand, set of, pardon me, set of three left hand, set of three left hand, five, five. Two, two, three, three, five, five. Still gets you to that 10, but now you're doing single-sided work. I actually think it helps to work on both sides equally to get yourself up to this, these big press days. Uh, because you're just doing simply a day of up to 20 or even, uh, you know, doing three rounds of 30, because you're kind of doing, you're not doing double the work necessarily, if you're following my point here. But when you do two here and two here, that is kind of two sets. So it does feel like it takes longer to do this. And on the third workout of the week, the Friday or Saturday, that's when I'd like you to do my old school clean and press and just keep going up. Now, what I want you to do is find a bail, a bell you fail on. <laughs> I just said bail. That's bail, bell fail in one word. So we now have a new invention. I wouldn't mind you do it with both hands. I wouldn't mind, actually, if you went one side first and then followed by the other and alternate that by weeks. But clean and press until you get to a bell you can't press. When you find the bell, the bell you can't press, clean it, use both hands, bring it up overhead, and bring it down as slow as you can. Don't go crazy on those reps. Probably two or three reps of bring it down as slow as you can is good. If you go too many and all, you know, you're just dropping it, that's not what I want. I want you to fight, and I want you to find where you struggle the most. Now, you might need another set of eyes on you to help you through this, or you can just fight through that, you know, just figure out where it is. So when you go back to your day one and day two workouts, when you find that sticking point, make sure your brain is really active. Okay, right there, I've got to make sure I'm in the groove and I'm solid. Uh, that would be my recommendation. Uh, I would give it six weeks. Uh, you know, if, if you're well away from it, obviously give you a lot more time. Let's say 12 weeks of this program, six weeks I would be better for most. And just keep sticking out those. And by the way, do everything else. You know, do your normal training with, on top of that. Don't, you know, don't forget your hinges, your squats. Um, I, I think pull-ups probably even actually help your press in some cases. Give that a solid run. and. Uh, nudge, nudge your, your, your best up. And it, you know, at the end, um, you know, figure out what bell you can press and then get back to me and we'll see what we need to do. Either get you more reps with that 48 or figure out a way to get you up to that 48. Dave, that's a good question. And I really enjoyed answering.